Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central introductory course. In this session we will see the detailed course curriculum. So this Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central introductory course is divided mainly into five modules where in module number one we will see the introduction to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central where in the first lecture we will see what is Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Then in the next lecture we will see what makes a cloud end-to-end -end business solution and in the lecture number three we will see why Dynamics 365 Business Central is considered as cloud end-to-end -end business solution and in lecture number four we will see the various features of Dynamics 365 Business Central and what is the single most key highlight of Dynamics 365 Business Central and in lecture number five we will see the different types of clients that are supported by Dynamics 365 Business Central and that will bring the end of module number one in module number two we will see the business central licensing part where in lecture number one we will first see in how many different price points dynamics 365 business central is available in lecture number two we will see the essential licensing and in last lecture that is lecture number three we will see the premium licensing of d365 business central application and in module number three we will see the user interface of business central where in lecture number one, we'll see how data is organized and displayed in Business Central, then the different user components in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Then we will see how you can search pages and reports. Then we will see what are my settings area. In last lecture, that is lecture number five, we'll explore what are list pages and we will get a little bit of more information about list pages. In module number four, we will see user personalization in Business Central application. That means how you can personalize pages in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. And in lecture number two, we will see how you can design pages in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. And in our last module, that is basic functionalities in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. We will first see how to search and select information in Dynamics 365 Business Central. In lecture number two, we will see how to sort and filter information in Business Central. Then in lecture number three, we will see how you can go to next and previous page in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. In lecture number four, we will see how you can enter and edit information in Business Central application. And in last lecture, we will see what are notes, links, attachments and comments in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central application. So this was the overall detailed course curriculum for this Dynamics 365 Business Central introductory course. In next session, I will give you an introduction about what is Microsoft Dynamics 365? I hope to see you all in the next session. Till then, bye-bye and take care.